Hi, you're welcome once again to my channel. This is Blebu Richard. Today, we we'll look at cholesterols. Now, to begin with, let's look at some facts about cholesterols. It is a fact that our bodies make 80% of total cholesterol. Only 20% are obtained from the food we eat. That is according to Harvard Health Publishing. I will leave the link in the description. Cholesterol is a fat, so it cannot travel alone in the blood. It needs to be put in a vessel or it needs something to take it through the blood. Egg yolk has 200 milligrams of cholesterol. It is not true that you die when you eat a lot of eggs. It's not true. And it is true that cholesterol have a bad name out there. I know you've heard a lot of them. Even though they are, it, the, the, the name of cholesterol out there is bad, it doesn't mean everything about cholesterol is bad. So let's look at some importance of cholesterol in our body. Number one, cholesterol are used to make hormones such as adrenaline, estrogen, and testosterone. Number two, they are used to make vitamin D, which is important for the absorption of calcium, which is responsible for maintaining the strength of our bones. They are used to make bile acid, bile acid, which are used for the digestion of fat. Every time you're taking fat, the bile acid that acts on it is, comes from cholesterols. And cholesterols are used to make the cell membranes of your tissues. You know, a group of cells form tissues and the membranes of those cells are made of cholesterol so that means cholesterols are not bad after all so let's look at how they are transported it is the transportation of cholesterols that give it the bad the, the quote unquote the bad name out there if you are here it means you are a subscriber but in case you are not Click on the subscription button and subscribe and be a part of this awesome family where we learn together about what goes on in our body. All right. Now, as I said in my introduction about some facts about cholesterol, I said cholesterols are fats, so they cannot be transported alone in the blood. So that means they need a system to transport them. So that tra that system that transports cholesterols in the blood is called lipoproteins. There are various types of lipoproteins. We have the chylomicrons, low density lipoprotein, high density, and we have others. But the ones that are responsible for the transport of cholesterols only are we have the, the high density lipoproteins, which are also called HL, HDL. And we have the low density lipoprotein, which I also call the LDL. High density lipoproteins are called good cholesterol because some of them some of them remove cholesterol from circulation and return it to the liver for excretion. So because of the role they play by reducing the amount of cholesterol in the in the body or in the blood, that's why they are named good cholesterol. But the name is high density lipoprotein. Cholesterol has nothing to do with the lipoprotein. The lipoproteins are just the, the vehicle that is transporting the cholesterol. So I think it's a misnomer there to say good cholesterol. Because the vessel that is transporting the cholesterol is doing the job of eliminating the cholesterol from circulation and the arterial arterial walls to the liver for excretion i think it's, it's a misnomer number two low density lipoproteins now these lipoproteins are called bad cholesterol now the name alone is low density lipoproteins the lipoproteins are just the vehicles transporting the cholesterol so cholesterol has nothing to do with the vehicle that is transporting it so it is it is wrong for us to say 
low density lipoproteins are bad cholesterols. But then we, I think we should say low density lipoproteins are called bad lipoproteins or like because they are the vessels that are transporting the cholesterol. Cholesterol has nothing to do with it. So I think that one is also a misnomer. It's left to the scientific community to think about that and see. Alright, so why are they named the bad cholesterol? Because it delivers cholesterol from the liver cells to the tissues and it is strongly associated with the formation of plaque in the buildup of uh, atherosclerosis. That's why it is called bad cholesterol. No, it doesn't work for me that way. It's left with the scientific community to, to, to change, to give it the appropriate name. Low density lipoproteins should be named bad lipoproteins, not bad cholesterol. Cholesterols. Now let's look at some sources of good cholesterols. Number one, egg yolk. From my introduction, I said egg yolks contain one egg yolk contain two hundred milligrams of cholesterols, butter and cheese. Now egg yolk, butter and cheese are the source of good cholesterols. So they are good for you, you can be taking them. Now the bad cholesterols or the low density lipoproteins come from sugar, junk food, and adrenal gland failure. Adrenal gland failure can result in the high production of low density lipoproteins, which by all means send the cholesterol to your tissues and be responsible for the formation of atherosclerosis which if case not taken can lead to heart attack all right so i want you to be safe and in case you are new here i appreciate you so much when you subscribe to my channel so that you'll be part of us as we all share knowledge together now leave in the comment section what do you think what have you heard so far about cholesterols let me know in the comments